Escape from Tarkov has a plethora of hidden mechanics and concepts that are useful to know as you explore this brutal yet mysterious world. To increase your chance of survival, I've compiled 10 handy tips from the top players like Landmark, Rengar, and Trey24k. These tips range from combat to quality of life that took even the most seasoned veterans years to discover. If you enjoy or learn anything new in this video, like it and subscribe to my channel for more Tarkov content. And feel free to leave what took you embarrassingly long to learn in the comments below. If there is one thing you take away from this video, it is the importance of right versus left hand peaks. Whether for PvP or PvE, utilizing right hand peaks is the difference between life and death, as roughly 50% of your deaths can be attributed to this mechanic. The reason this is so detrimental is since your PMC holds his weapon in his right hand, when you clear doorways, windows, or hallways from left to right, you're exposing your entire body before your firing hand is cleared the corner, allowing your enemy to quickly kill you before you can even fire. On the flip side, if you were to peek that same doorway from the right hand side, you'll realize that your gun will come around the corner first. So only a fraction of your body will be exposed, unlike if you were to peek from the left hand side. The same context works for AI, as they need to see a certain percentage of your body before they can engage you, so right hand peeking can make you even invisible to Tarkov's most dangerous AI. When playing a safe from Tarkov, you will inevitably be shot. One of the most dangerous outcomes outside of death is the resulting bleeds. Untreated light and heavy bleeds can do more damage than the initial bullet itself, leading to blacked out limbs or worse, death. Binding the appropriate healing items to your hotkeys can help you combat those injuries with the press of a button. Hover over a healing item and press the 4 through 9 keys to bind it. But this can be taken one step further by binding all your healing to one key. Change your controls and binding hotkey slot 4 to 4 press and hotkey slot 5 to 4 release will allow you to bind tourniquets and healing items to the same button. Binding your tourniquets to the press command will result in heavy bleeds always being prioritized and healed first, and upon release will heal all light and damaged limbs, resulting in a more streamlined way to deal with healing. To bind keys, press 4 on your tourniquet while holding down the key, hover your healing item, and release. The tab key is one of the best ways to navigate through menus quickly and provides so much quality of life if used properly. For example, have you ever been editing a preset and been prompted with this message? Instead of deleting your edits, press the tab key and reposition your weapon. And upon pressing tab key again, you'll be brought back to the weapon preset menu. You can then assemble your weapon with no problem. The tab key will also allow you to speed up those planting quests for example. Instead of waiting for the prompt to come back after placing your first item, press the tab key twice and then you can place your second, third or even fourth item immediately. Also, if you're trying to snipe the prices for items on the flea market, instead of waiting for the refresh button's cooldown, pressing the tab key twice will give you an instant refresh of the flea market. Another super secret tip that no one is telling you is that liking this video and subscribing to my channel will boost your survival rate by 20%. Try it out. Sound is a significant factor when it comes to escape from Tarkov. From scabs and PMCs walking on wood, metal, or other surfaces, to healing, everything makes a sound. One of the biggest giveaways outside of those is when a player aims on sights, as your gear and weapons make noise. But did you know you can remove that sound? All you have to do, when coming out of an ADS, press the ALT plus W key. Your PMC will then transition to an overhead blind fire animation, completely negating the sound and maintaining your element of surprise. Do you know those quests that Ragman gives you, the handed armor at 50% durability? Gone are the days of walking on landmines or risking your lives with scavs to get them into their desired durability. Instead, simply wear your armor of choice and proceed to a map with a boundary sniper, such as the ones on customs or woods, and run to the kill zones outside of the map and let boundary snipers do the work. They are programmed to give you some warning shots and then shoot you in the chest until you die. Walk far enough into where no PMC can loot your body without dying themselves and wait for that sweet insurance to bring back your armor. Escape from Tarkov has an automatic recoil compensation mechanic, meaning that when you fire your weapon, it will have an initial kick before it automatically recenters and is more accurate over time. It is more advantageous to fire your weapon in full auto rather than trying to tap or burst fire your gun, as your compensation will never kick in this way, and you will always be at your highest point of recoil. When firing a weapon, you should pull down initially to counter the initial recoil until the recoil composition kicks in. Most, if not all, animations can be cancelled by just clicking the left mouse button. It will stop the animation completely and ready your weapon. This can be useful if you're being pushed, or if you want to bait an enemy by starting the healing sound. One step up, if you only need to heal a low amount of health, you can cancel the heal early and still be healed without seeing through the entire animation, unless you are fixing a broken limb or stopping a bleed. Take some time to figure out how much time you need for each myth. You can also eat or pack mags while searching in containers or players by right clicking the food or drink in your inventory or dragging ammo into your mags and then searching. Escape from Tarkov has so many keybinds that it can be daunting to remember every single one. Often players will rebind multiple controls to the same key for ease of access. Although not usually a problem, it can lead to double click delay. By default, when you bind two controls to the same key, the game will wait 0.3 seconds to see if you press that key again before performing the original action. Additionally, by default, your reload is bound to R and your mercy or fast reload is bound to double tap bar, meaning that every time you reload, there's a delay between when you press the key and when the next magazine is inserted. This is an ample time for a PMC to push and kill you. Rebinding your fast reload to another key will speed up your reloads and save you more time than you can count in those dire situations. 
If you ever find yourself in a firefight and have repositioned to heal, one way to save time is to reload your weapon while in the healing animation. When your character starts the animation, open the inventory, right click the desired magazine, and press load. The reload will be instant and utterly void of sound. This can help you multitask and save time in the middle of a gunfight you otherwise wouldn't have, and can even be used to bait enemies into pushing you, thinking you still haven't reloaded your weapon. If you're running multiple magazines with various ammo, you can quickly tag mags in your stash before you head into a raid to quickly identify which one is which. For example, you can quickly load one magazine with better ammo and tag it with a color that stands out from the rest. Then, when you need it, you can R plus mouse wheel to select which magazine you want to load into your weapon. Additionally, if you want to quickly identify if a magazine is packed or empty, you can move it one slide in the inventory and the question mark will turn to a 30 out of 30 if the magazine is full. So now you know what every Tarkov Pro is doing to be leaps and bounds in front of the competition. But you still have one problem. Escape from Tarkov is a massive game and there's so much to learn to succeed. Well thankfully I cover these things right here in this video. So watch it and combine it with what you've learned today to bring your gameplay to a whole new level.